Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Welcome to my 12 days of cookies and holiday treats. Today I'm going to share with you how to make these very decadent chocolate chip toffee bars. These are the ingredients. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our crust for our toffee bars. Now in the description box below, I will have a list of all the ingredients you need to make these delicious, yummy and decadent chocolate chip toffee bars. But what I'm going to share with you is how to take those ingredients and put them together to make these lovely bars for your friends and family this wonderful festive holiday season. So, so far in my bowl, I've put one cup of all-purpose flour. In total, we're going to be putting two and a third cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour. Now to that, we're going to be adding some light brown sugar, and I'm using two-thirds of a cup of light brown sugar. Now once you have your flour and your sugar in your bowl, you just want to take your spatula or either a spoon, break up your light brown sugar, break up all those big chunks, and just go on and blend that in to your flour. Now this recipe does not call for any salt, so we're going to be using salted butter when we're making our crust for our cookie bars. And we're going to be using one and a half sticks of salted butter. Now, you want my butter straight from the refrigerator. So your butter can be straight from the refrigerator or just slightly uh, room temperature. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take our butter and we're going to break it down and mix it in with the flour and the brown sugar. Now, if you've seen me make um, biscuits or pie dough, you know how you want to go ahead and break those down into those small pea sizes in the flour because that's going to create a really nice delicate crust for our cookie bars and this is what it's going to look like you want to just kind of take your fingers and pinch like I'm doing and break down those pieces and then this is what you want to have you want it to be nice and crumbly now to this we're going to add an egg so I'm beating an egg and we're adding one large egg and I had my egg at room temperature so you add one large beaten egg to your mixture and you just kind of want to mix it around this is going to help that with the binding of our crust our crust that we're making for our cookie bars now if you are new to my channel welcome in and if you're a returner welcome back and i hope that you enjoy my series of 12 days of cookies and holiday treats where every day leading up to christmas eve i share a wonderful treat a cookie or a baked good for you to share with your friends and your family now next to our mixture i added one cup of chopped pecans and i also added one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now with this recipe you can definitely make some variations to make it your own. Now if you'd like to use a little less chocolate chips you can definitely do that and use one and a half cups of chocolate chips versus using two cups of chocolate chips. I will have that information in the description box below as well. So what we did was we set aside one and a half cups of our crumb mixture and then we're going to use the balance of our crumb mixture and put it in our buttered 13 by 9 pan. Now once you put your um, crumb mixture for the crust in your pan, you want to do like I'm doing. You see how I'm going through and I'm patting and evening out the mixture. You want to make sure you have a nice even crust all the way around. And so I just kind of press, gently press. I move around any pecans or any of the chocolate chips just to make sure that we have a nice even layer. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it in our oven at 350 degrees and bake it for just 10 minutes. So it's going to bake at 350 for 10 minutes. Now while it's doing that, I'm just going to go on and tidy up our countertop. I'm going to bring y'all back and we're going to go on and finish up our chocolate chip toffee bars. And so what I'm doing now is we're going to add our sweetened condensed milk to our nice hot crust. So while your crust is still hot, we're going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk. And so you're just going to put your sweetened condensed milk all over the nice hot crust. And we still have our oven on 350 because we're going to be putting our bars back in the oven to finish baking. So once you have your sweetened condensed milk on your crust, what you do is just like I'm doing, I'm taking a spoon and you just kind of want to start to smooth it out. As the sweetened condensed milk kind of loosens up from the nice hot crust, it's going to be a little bit easier to spread, but just kind of take your time. And you want to go from end to end, all over, back and forth, just like that. 
Now next what we're going to do is this is an 8 ounce package of the English toffee and we're just going to use half the package and you just so that's about 4 ounces and so you just want to go on and sprinkle half the package on top of the sweetened condensed milk. Then that one and a half cups of the reserved uh, crumb mixture that we had set aside from earlier we're going to put that on top. This is going to create those nice valleys. Then we're going to put on the rest of our semi sweet chocolate chips as well. So now this is ready for the oven. We're going to put it in the oven at 350 and it's going to bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Well our cookie bars are out of the oven y'all. They have baked up nicely. It is nice, hot, and bubbly. You want to definitely let this cool for about an hour to two hours before you cut into it. I'm going to go on and cut us a little wedge. And let's see how we did today with our little decadent chocolate chip toffee bars. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. Will you look at the melted chocolate in there, y'all? And let's see what the underside is looking like. Oh, these baked up so nicely. I'm going to let y'all have the first bite. That bite right there, that's for you. Okay, I'm going to take a bite and give it a try. Mmm, mm-hmm. Wow, these are so yummy. These will definitely satisfy the chocolate lover in your family. But I have a lovely bonus for y'all. Now, if you want that sweet, salty kind of combination, you see right here, I have a little bit of sea salt. You go on and put a little bit of sea salt, just sprinkle them on top, and it just really takes it to the next level. Well, that is it for me today, y'all. If you like this video, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up. Click share. Share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.